in Weymouth there's an old railway line which has been changed for walkers and cyclists and it's called the Rodwell Trail and there's stations along the way and one of them is Rodwell Station and there's things to look out for and one of the things to look out for is this this uh, bit um, Whitehead Drive it's got a lovely view across the sea on, on the other side of the um, Rodwell Trail so it looks across the Rodwell Trail Whitehead Drive at Weymouth um, just by the causeway going over to Portland a new housing development perfectly respectable solar panels neat front gardens places to park your car just the sort of place that anywhere anybody would want to live but I wonder why it's called Whitehead Drive well there's a stone here and it tells you why Robert Whitehead uh, who lived between 1823 and 1905 he lived quite a good age didn't he that's 70 uh, 77 something like that uh, was the inventor of the deadly underwater torpedo and it was on this site on the 11th of April 1891 that the foundation stone of his world famous Whitehead torpedo factory was laid down Torpedoes from this factory were tested in Portland Harbour and Weymouth Bay and achieved worldwide recognition. During the World Wars of 1914-18 and 1939-45, the torpedoes made a major contribution to the defence of the realm. The last torpedo was built in 1969, but the factory continued to produce a variety of engineering products until its final closure in 1994. The factory buildings were demolished in 1997 to make way for the Harbour Point housing development. Well, there we go. Change of use for the land and the torpedo factory is now all gone. And uh, people must be perfectly comfortable living there there's no spirits rising up from the ground condemning them saying this is the land which killed millions of maritimers or, and people in the wars um, it's amazing that uh, it's been cleansed and lots of happy families who, who live here now with their cars and solar panels and neat gardens and and they are good citizens of Weymouth.